So down uh, down the basement, this is the 20 year old Lennox. Man, this thing is a, a classic. I don't think I've ever seen something quite this old, but also fancy. Like look at this old electronic air cleaner, like control center, like what even is this? It's got on button, oh it's a fan, on and auto. It'll tell you the system performance, like I don't even know what that is. And then look at this old air cleaner, like that's pretty cool. And then look at, even on the side, it's got this little clogged filter, <laughs> clogged filter design, that's crazy. And then, uh, you know, obviously just old natural draft style furnace, uh, no heat today. So we're going to dig in and see what's going on with it. But definitely kind of a cool, uh, cool old survivor compared to stuff, stuff I normally work on. So we'll dig in and, and take a look here. <clears throat> Think about these, these natural drafts as they're always quiet anyway. It's kind of hard to... Hard to diagnose them at times. Not hard to diagnose them, but it's just not, it's a lot different. Okay, so. Man, that thing is just silent. Looks like it's got, it's got direct spark ignition though, which is pretty cool. That pilot looks, that pilot looks gnarly. Look at that. That's yeah, gnarly. So I will, um, I'm gonna get out my voltmeter and we'll track down this low voltage and see what's going on with it. Um, but then in addition, um, I'm probably gonna pull off this little flange that covers the, the burners and just take a, take a peek inside that heat exchanger and see how it looks. Um, from my experience, these older natural draft, the, you know, the heat exchangers are pretty thick and so they don't seem to crack at least in my experience, as often as some of the ones from the early 90s. Um, but yeah, we'll take a peek inside, see how that looks, and uh, figure out what's going on here. So I got the, got the doors off, just taking a look at it. Got a transformer, relay, uh, Looking at the label here, this thing's definitely, service cost at 20 years old, but this thing's like way older. Um, G12, manufactured Marshalltown, Iowa. I've been to Marshalltown, Iowa, to the, the Lennox factory. It's, Lennox factory is cool, but there is nothing else going on in Marshalltown, Iowa. <laughs> so let's see, if I look at the serial number, 5882. So this is a 1982 unit. So I was born in 85 and I'm 33. So this thing's, this furnace is older than me. This thing's like, this thing's way over, over 30 years old. So, um, yeah, it's cool it's made it this far, but let's see what we got. Here's a combo fan limit switch. Um, and then the gas valve itself is interesting. It's like some kind of a, on top of this gas valve, we have like an, basically a primitive ignition control module because you have the gas valve here and then you have up on top, you got your this red line, that's your uh, direct spark ignition, which is pretty cool that this is an autopilot. Usually on stuff this old, you don't see autopilot, but um, you know, just judging by the fanciness of this, all the little extra gadgets and stuff, this was definitely the top of the line furnace in its day. Um, so anyway, we got this uh, ignition control module basically, and then a combo limit switch, so we're gonna track down this low voltage and figure out where we're losing our call at and uh, find out which component has actually failed. If it's something within this mess, then it's gonna be new furnace time. Um, if it's this fan limit controller, then we probably have a fix for him. If it's this, um, this relay, then we probably have a fix for him. Transformer, we can fix that. Um, pilot, we can fix that. So um, we'll go through and do some low voltage troubleshooting with my uh, handy Klein meter and uh, we'll figure out what's going on today. All right, so I'm actually, I'm pretty stoked on this one. Um, I like these old furnaces because they have really good schematics. Like this Lennox especially, I'm super impressed um, with the layout on this. This is super easy to read. Like, dude, I would do diagnostics like this all day, every day. These are super fun. Okay, so here, here we go. So. 
the first thing I'm looking at on a no heat call is um, our low voltage communication. How far is the 20, 28 volts, 27 volts going? So here's our red coming in, um, or going out, I should say. And then here's our W coming in. We can see the W is connect to this brown wire. So we're just gonna do a manual trace of it. We're gonna do the, we're gonna use the shimmy technique. So if we look down here, we're gonna see that brown wire shimmy. And we're gonna look up here and there's that brown wire again. It's the only brown wire within that bundle. So we know that this is our W coming into the furnace. So we're gonna follow it up, follow it up right here. So this is our fan uh, combo fan limit controller. So what it's doing is, um, it's looking at temperature within the furnace. If temperature um, is too high, then this switch this uh, switch will open and it'll run the fan. And so these two guys up here should be um, leads to the fan. Okay, so got the Klein voltmeter. Um, so if I look right here, this is coming in. This is straight from the W wire nut. So this is the first thing within the furnace that that call for heat goes to. So take a peek, there we are, 28 volts. So that's in, and then over here, this is out, this guy over here. Let's see if I can focus that. Okay, so this lead is out. So if this works, then it means the limit is closed, um, and that means this piece is, is currently functioning proper. Oh, there we go. There we go, 28 volts. So we know that limit is good. I have voltage in, I have voltage out. If I look at where this brown wire is coming, it, it comes out, it loops up, and it drops down into here, which is this gas valve combo ignition control piece, okay? So if we look at this one, here's the brown wire right here. We'll just double check and confirm. There's our 28 volts, okay? So we got voltage coming into this unit. Um, it's labeled, this is number two. It's kind of hard to see on the phone, but this is terminal one, this is two, the back one is three, the opposite side is four, five, and six in the back corner. So this is number two, where we have voltage coming in. Again, just to confirm, 28, okay. So now we look at the schematic. Here's our gas combo valve. So number two, we can see on the schematic, here's the thermostat, here's the auxiliary limit control, which is that piece that I was just looking at, right? That cam stat that's uh, basically high temp uh, limit, and then also fan controller. So this was where it came out. It goes into that valve. And then what we wanna look at is where is the power going once it comes into that valve. And so we have down here, Here's our pilot is number one, and then this guy right here is number three. This is our main. So basically one and three. Um, first it should do one. So we would want to look at one, which is this blue guy right down here. And if I put my, volt, my uh, lead on it, look at the voltmeter, I'm not getting anything, okay? So we'll look at it again, make sure we're hitting that one, take a peek, nothing, okay? So at this point, it looks like we're getting a call into this box, but we're not getting any movement from it. We're not getting pilot valve, we're not getting spark. So what I wanna do now is cycle the power. Well, actually I already have cycled the power because I, I pulled this door switch. So we know it's not in lockout or anything. It looks like it's just not, not functioning. So we're gonna go ahead and just try it again really quick. We're gonna remove power, okay, like that. And then I'm just gonna verify that power's been removed. We're gonna look back at this limit switch. We're gonna look at the voltmeter. We see zero AC across the board, which is pretty rare, you see all zeros. So that circuit is totally empty, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and reapply power by applying this door switch. I can hear the transformer humming. Um, so now we're going to double check. We're going to look at that same cam stat. There it is, 28 coming in, 28 coming out, 28 into this module, 
and then it's just crickets. Nothing on the, nothing on the uh, pilot, and of course, nothing on the main either, no spark. So, um, you know, in my mind, this guy's, this guy's dead and there's not going to be a replacement for that so it looks like it's probably going to be unfortunately it's going to be new furnace time 